Hi, my name is Beth. And I'm Craig. We're going to show you how to estimate. And solve problems involving percents. Let's look at our first problem. During our first snowstorm, how did the class find out that the school was canceled? 42 out of 70 found out from the internet. The rest of the students found out from the radio. What percent of the students heard about the cancellation from the radio? Remember, let's estimate before we start. So I ask myself this question. Did more or less than 50% of the kids hear about the cancellation on the radio? Well, let's just say that 50% of the kids did. How many would that have been? That would have been probably about 35 kids, right? Well, let me estimate the number of kids. So there's 70 kids all together. 42 heard about it on the internet so that's roughly 30 kids so I know that only about 30 kids heard about it on the radio 30 is less than 35 so I know that my percent of kids who found out about the cancellation on the radio should be less than 50 percent now that we've estimated Let's find the actual answer. First, I take the fraction that found out that found out from the internet 42 out of 70. Part to whole. Next, I subtract 70 minus 42 to find out the number of children that heard from the radio. Then I take 28 and put it over 70. Just as I said before, part to whole. To find percent, I set up the equation 28 over 70 equals x over 100. There are many ways to find this answer. We're going to explain two ways today. The first way is to see if 70 is a factor of 100. No, it is not. Another way is to take 28 over 70 and simplify it. 28 and 70 can both be divided by the number 7. 28 divided by 7 is 4, and 70 divided by 7 is 10. 10 is a great denominator, because 10 is a factor of 100. 4 tenths equals x over 100. What you do to one, you do to the other. I multiply by 10. 10 times 10 is 100. 10 times 4 is 40, leaving the percent of kids that heard it on the radio was 40%. Thanks for listening to our word problem. Have a good day. Enjoy the day off.